closing of the Abrahamic channels, you said that the Christian channel was closed down. As I understand it, the Christians have made the transition to the Muslim channel because it is also Abrahamic. Am I right? Yes, you are absolutely right. They are all now attached to only one branch, which is the 19th Arcana. We have mentioned many times that two branches to which the channels of Judaism and Christianity were attached have already fallen off like parts of a spaceship, only the last branch remains. And I tell you, colleagues, don't expect it to fall off tomorrow, Islam still has some time left. Judaism and Christianity are now acting like parasites, like freeloaders or poor relatives who have suddenly become homeless. Just like in the story of the cat's house, where the cat first kicked the kittens out of her house and then had to beg for shelter herself. That's how Judaism and Christianity come crawling back to those they despise before. The 19th Arcana will also close soon. In the meantime, we will see that this branch continues to exist and show power. But their mutation will begin quickly. They won't have the right to do the things they are used to. They will strive for power and will succeed in many ways. But this program will end as soon as it has completed its main task of cleansing the territory from the Abrahamic systems. Their time has passed. We are present at the stage of their agony. We we see the whole process, although it's not the most beautiful or pleasant sight. But if we rise above a human level and try to see this from a magical point of view, we can see how natural, expected and ruthless it is. It couldn't be otherwise. As the Abrahamic channels have three more secret occult channels that have now begun to manifest themselves, many mysteries will be revealed. In the past they were reflected in the religions of Zoroastrianism, Mithraism and Manichaeism. Today they are known as certain channels associated with Freemasonry, the Illuminati, and all that has to do with secret occult orders. It's all the same. They They've just changed the name. They will wrap up along with the channels. Their shared agony will allow the Sephiroth system to exist for a while, but gradually this system will become smaller and smaller until it makes the transition within the three circle system. I'll ask my colleagues to display the three circle scheme so that I can clearly demonstrate what will happen. There it is, so the Sephiroth system will make the transition within the center of the circle within the innermost circle of human life, they will remain there as informational models, as role-playing games like those that exist nowadays, where people gather in one place dressed as elves or crusaders, for example, and interact within an imaginary world. In the same way, they will play Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, which will become these kinds of local games that don't influence anything but are interesting to watch. The holy writings will become some kind of fanfics. That's their inevitable fate. No one is going to destroy them, it's just that the priority system is going to change. But again, colleagues, you must understand that this process will take time, we won't see the results in the near future, perhaps not even in this lifetime. But this program will wrap up quickly and we will see the dynamics and processes of how this will take place, and when we see it, we will remember exactly what it is without allowing reality to give it another meaning and name. We will know exactly what is happening. And we won't print it in the newspapers, we won't say it on television, we'll just remember what it is.